there is a lot of confusion that I've noticed. Uh, many companies they use various labels to describe their display resolutions so that they can market their screens better. Now, this is used for monitors and TVs and basically all kind of displays. So what I've noticed is that they use certain labels, certain terms and they interchange them uh, so that they can uh, sell you their product. Uh, uh, you know, they feel that if they market a TV using the word 4K or if they market a TV using the word uh, UHD or QHD or something like that, you would be more enticed to buy their product. But uh, it also causes a lot of confusion to the people because they don't know what exactly they're getting to. So in this video, let's go through some of the uh, uh, display resolutions that are out there in the market and what they might mean. So luckily, uh, there is an organization called the Digital Cinema Initiatives. It's a group of motion picture studios uh, that creates standards for digital cinema. So this organization has basically defined uh, you know the standard uh, display resolutions and what they should be called. So as you can see over here, uh, this is the list of definitions that is actually uh, defined and let's go through some of them and how some of them are used wrongly. So um, the first one is the most commonly used term that we have heard that is 4K. Now what is 4K? 4K is basically a resolution of 4096 by 2160. So 4K refers to the fact that the horizontal pixel count is 4096 and that it is roughly 4000 uh, pixels. So that's basically why this term 4K has been coined. Uh, so one thing you have to keep in mind over here is that there are some panels out there are mostly like 3840 by 2160 and it has an aspect ratio of 1.78 is to 1. So this is advertised as 4K but if you go by the actual uh, actual definition that is laid out, it it is not exactly 4K but it's close enough so it can, it can be forgiven but for people who are looking for precision and people who want uh, to get exactly what they promised. Um, 4K ideally means 4096 uh, by 2160. Just that is something that is uh, that is something that you should be aware of. So one more thing, uh, 4K is not just a resolution. It also defines how content is encoded. That is also defined by the term 4K. So as per DCI, a 4K stream is compressed using JPEG 200 and it can have a bitrate of up to 250 Mbps and it will employ 12 bit uh, 4 is to 4 is to 4 color depth. So this was a, just a tidbit for the techies and the people who really want to be accurate with the definition of 4K. Yeah. So ultra high definition or UHD is a next step up from full HD. So by full HD, I mean the 1920 by 1080p resolution. Um, now UHD quadruples that resolution to 3840 by 2160. So a lot of these TVs and a lot of these displays and a lot of these companies will actually advertise the resolution of 3840 by 2160 as 4K. But uh, if you want to be very correct about that, it is not 4K, it is UHD. So next in line is 2K. Now 2K resolution is uh, basically 2560 by 1440 pixels. So that is 2K. Uh, a lot of uh, companies, they make these uh, cheaper uh, gaming monitors that they do market it uh, as a 4K displays. But let me tell you, it is not really a 4K display. It is, it's more correctly, it should be called a 2K display. Obviously, it is a step up if you compare it to full HD resolution, but it is also wrong to kind of call it a 4K display. So just keep that in mind. So these gaming monitors, because they are advertised as gaming monitors, they have got a fast response time. So because of that, and it has a high refresh rate. So, you know, scrolling kind of becomes smoother. So these are definitely plus points and they are great monitors. 
by the way so if you if you want to go for them for your uh, office setup or stuff i would definitely recommend these monitors and um, after that we have i think most people would be knowing about this i know that even previously there was some confusion between hd and full hd so uh, full hd as now we all know is kind of the 1920 by 1080p this is i think i think it could be the most widely used resolution today because um, you know that is kind of become popular in the market and hd that is high definition is 720 720 pixels so that is 1280 by 720 a lot of the companies they do try to confuse the end user even further they don't really put clear and uh, clear instructions out there and they just try to highlight the the kind of the buzzword that is going to sell more of their products so sometimes they will sell their displays call it 4k when it is not really 4k or uh, you know they would call a 2k monitor as a uhd when that would not be the right thing to call it so hopefully this has cleared your doubts uh, if you like this video if you found it informative and if it clears some of your doubts please do like the video and uh, if you want to uh, see some more of these videos you can click on subscribe so this kind of lets me know that yes people are watching uh, the videos and it kind of motivates me to make more of these videos because i do have to set aside some amount of my time to do the research and then kind of uh, make these videos for you guys so please if you like the video do like it and do subscribe to the channel and if you want to know um, about screen real estate like people who are looking to upgrade their monitors and if they don't want to know what is the benefit of having a, a a screen with a higher resolution i mean not only so so if you're buying a tv um possibly you would be getting more detail and uh, kind of more clarity in the image but if you're using it uh, for your laptop or for your pc or for that purpose obviously you will be getting more detail but it is also interesting to note that you will get more screen real estate now for those of you who do not know what is screen real estate and want to have a peek at that i have added a link below so click on that so that will help you all to understand that too so that's it guys hope you like this video and thanks for tuning in